Good Monday morning, everybody. Head off to the back here. We can get the truck all started, warmed up. Then we'll start the day. There she is. I'm gonna wake her up. See if we can get her on the back here. Perfect. Good morning. You're still looking relatively shiny. She's definitely a work truck, not a show truck. So, uh, she's got some miles on her. <laughs> we'll say that. Uh, we're gonna pretty her up as good as we can, though, as time goes by. But like I said, during the days here, we're really busy. Oh, that sunrise looks nice over there. Oh, stretch it out, stretch it out. Oh boy, get the joints moving. It's, fr it's not Friday, it's Monday. It's definitely Monday, I almost called it Friday. Let's see how your oil is doing. All right, wake up for me. Come on, there you go. There you are. Good Monday morning. Assignment number one today. A whole load of N95 masks. Pulls up the door. They just loaded them up here. Let's make sure the top is in. It's always hard to put the top in. This load would have been worth its weight in gold about a year ago. <laughs> Lots of these masks. They're going to our uh, medical workers, I'm guessing. I don't really know where they're gonna end up. I just bring it to like a distribution center and they dole them out from there. I just know they're not for me. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Oh, and somebody's backing in here beside me just as I'm about to pull out. He's gonna go into the dock right next to me, I guess. Well, he's being pretty quick about it, so that's all right. I was just pulling forward already. <laughs> oh yeah, he knows what he's doing. Nice and quick. Maybe I'll wait till he's right beside me and then just as he stops, I'll start rolling forward. Whenever that happens to me, I'm backing in somewhere, and just as I stop, the next guy starts rolling forward. It makes me think that I'm still rolling backwards, and I slam on the brakes. <laughs> just to mess with them. <laughs> we won't do that. We won't do that. We got work to do. We got stuff to do. We got masks to deliver. Very important in these days. here again I'm step back here open the doors for him throw it in the dock and let them do their thing I heard that we make uh, we've started up a new a bunch of new manufacturing plants and factories here in Canada making these as well but since the demand is so high I guess uh, we're still outsourcing a little bit but hey that gives us something to do right puts food on my table and I don't know what happened back here 
What in the world? What in the world is this? Seriously, someone had to have seen this mess and just left it. Frustrating. Once we're done unloading, I'll clean it up. Because apparently, that's what I do now, is I clean up other people's messes. Just call me Mr. Clean. Good thing I got a good broom. While we're waiting to be unloaded. A lot of you have asked to see what's under the hood. May as well show you right now. Cummins engine. The engine was built in 2006. The truck is a 2007. Uh, it's got 475 horsepower. I tried to get it as clean as I could last time I took it in for a wash. It's in decent shape. As for these here, uh, I was thinking of putting green LEDs in there. I first have to research to see if that's even legal in Manitoba. They may have to be orange or amber. Uh, but maybe while I'm just parked, I can have them on a switch. Uh, just have green LEDs in there to match the green logo. Thought that might be pretty cool. But uh, I would have to research that because I know that having anything other than amber on the truck uh, could possibly be illegal on Manitoba roads. But, you know, we'll see. I have a whole bunch of other things to take care of first financially before I go out buying pretty lights that I don't need. <laughs> it was just an idea. Like, that probably won't do that. I mean, we're trying to build a house right now and I don't think fancy green lights would help us get our house any faster. So I don't think I could justify it, but it would be pretty neat. All right, they say they're done. That means we gotta go clean out the trailer so that the next driver doesn't have to do it. Come with me, y'all. I'm going to the back and clean the trailer. Been a lot of dirty trailers. A lot of dirty trailers. Look at that. At least it's just mostly at the back here, I guess, so. That's not so bad, whatever. Guess it gives me something to do, eh? One second while I drag my big butt up here. Give her a sweep. Okay, so I'm just waiting to hear back from the office right now. They said one sec, seven minutes ago. So one sec usually means a few minutes. I just asked them uh, what they want me to do with this trailer because I have an empty clean trailer behind me now. I don't know if they just want me to pull it back there or if they want me to drop it somewhere or maybe go load something before I come back. Just waiting for them to get back to me. And in the meantime, I guess we'll just uh, sit tight. So the past few weeks, I haven't been doing a lot of complaining. A little bit, but not a lot. And I feel like I have to make up for that. So today I present to you the Tim Hortons Paper Straw. Why? So I got this ice cap, right? You put the paper straw in the ice cap and it works fine for the first five minutes. After the first five minutes, the top turns all gooey and doesn't work anymore, so you have to rip it off. But once you rip it off, that makes the straw shorter and then the straw doesn't reach the bottom and you can't get the stuff on the bottom. 
And then before you know it, after about 10 minutes, if you haven't finished your drink, if you haven't just guzzled it back like a maniac, the bottom of your straw is all soggy and it doesn't work either. So now your whole straw is messed up and you can't get any of your drink. Now you gotta drink it like a crazy person without a straw. And I can never finish the drink before the straw just disappears and evaporates pretty much before your eyes. It's probably doing it right now. I get what they're trying to do with the paper straws, but uh, I hope they do realize that this also does take away from our glorious forests. Someone had to cut down a tree for this straw. Plastic's bad. Yeah, I get it. I get it. We still have a plastic cup though, so that's a problem. So they put a paper straw in, so they cut down a tree instead. It's just a lose-lose situation we're in here, right? But the but the ice cap is so good. Mm. You just have to drink it really fast now. That's all. Really fast before you lose your straw. That's so good. That is so good. So I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I don't like the pressure. The pressure of having to drink your drink so fast before you lose your straw. I don't like having to race through it. Then I get a brain freeze like I have right now. I'm getting brain freezes because I'm trying to finish my drink before my straw disintegrates. I drank it as fast as I could. I didn't make it. The straw, the straw failed. And now I'm really wired because there's a lot of caffeine in this. And I had to drink it really fast and I'm still not done. Why, Tim Hortons? Why do you give us the paper straws? I like to slowly enjoy my, my ice cap. I don't want to guzzle it back and still not be able to finish. Now I got to drink it like a crazy person. That's just not good. I don't like paper straws. I really don't like paper straws. All right. I've got a assignment. The assignment is come back. So I guess we're dragging it back empty. We've got these Sherps here that were moving onto a different trailer, I think. And they deflate the tires so that uh, we're not too high, right? And there's supposed to be a button in there that'll automatically inflate the tires. Just gotta find the button. <laughs> it's our yard manager, Bill, up there. Hey. He's in charge of everything here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take a look in here. Check this out. That is cool. 
So these things are literally all terrain. You can go right across the water with these. Cool. Oh, climb around. Climb around? Yeah. There's a latch inside. So you can open it up, you can stand up, probably luck out. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> You can drive this thing right across the lake, eh? Oh yeah. Through deep snow, through the mud. It's like a tank that floats. That floats. <laughs> almost looks like a, a military unit in here. It is almost, yeah. I'm sure they use them. Yeah. Like the military uses them. You go to the back, that back door opens as well, and that opens, you can go in and out the back. Oh boy, I gotta figure out how to get around here. Here, let's jump down. I'm going in. I'm going in. So then what was this again for? In the middle of the sea Oh. Okay, where is this? Oh, there it is. I think you probably have like six guys back here comfortably. You need a little heater in here, a little Vasto. White ones in the other trailer in the back have warm. No, I don't know if you can reach it from there, Brendan. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get it started. It's got a dead battery. So they figured this one out. Got the tires to inflate. We're just trying to get those tires up yet. We got Bill up there, we got Brendan in there. He's got to get it off the trailer without falling off. <laughs> There's only three PSI in each of these tires, he says. So they're like big balloons or big bubbles. And they're filled with, uh, they, they fill with exhaust from the machine itself. So they're self inflating so are you putting them on a different trailer or uh, there's no side up that no, that one there okay Okay, so one's going to Minnesota and this one an outside carrier is coming. They're actually uh, uh, manufactured in Russia and then they're shipped in parts over here and uh, we assemble them in Winnipeg here and then ship them out. I just learned all this stuff now from Bill. They're gonna let me drive it. Okay, so these are the brakes, just like a skid steer for each side. I just don't shut it off in case it doesn't want to start. Okay. I just can't stall it. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Feels like I'm floating. putting this on the list of things and toys that I would like. It's going on the Christmas list. So to turn you gotta put the brakes on one side and then you spin around. <laughs> Keep it running. Alright, I'll leave it running. And then you just I guess you just climb out like this. Oh. Could have been more graceful. Oh, there we go. See, now you can see the tires inflating. Like I said before, it's the actual exhaust from the engine 
that fills these things up all by itself. So these are just a little bit bigger models with temporary tires on them. They get the same tires as the other ones, eventually. I guess they're just too big to transport with them on. So they're called Sherps. At least those ones are Sherps. Those ones you can rent. You can rent those for the day. I don't know exactly how much. I heard it was a couple hundred bucks a day. I don't know for sure. You have to check that out. You can rent those. These, I'm not sure where they're going. Yeah, they're all made in Russia. So they've been on a long journey already to get here. <laughs> These little tires. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go up here and take a look. There you can see inside. Let's get this window cleaned off a bit. Pretty cool. Someone asked in the comment section the other day if I ever see the uh, trucks that I used to drive here in the yard. Yep. 3080. That was my truck for about three years. I put the first uh, almost 400,000 kilometers on her, I guess. I said we had it for about two years then. We did about 200,000 kilometers a year. I didn't do that. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah, there's that. And the uh, Volvo that I used to drive, I usually see it around here somewhere too. It's one of the regional trucks. It's in the yard almost every day. And before that, I, no, after that I had a Peterbilt. I haven't seen that one here yet. What was that unit number? 3101. I haven't seen that one in a while, but it's around. And then that old Kenworth W9 I used to drive, uh, unit 62, I think. Uh, that one's in the yard here every now and then. But, you know, they're all on the highway, so they only come through here every couple of weeks. And I'm not always in the yard. It's just a little bit slow here right now. We're in a little bit of a lull for this day, I guess. So I'm taking the opportunity to get some steps in and go for a walk. I'm just walking laps around the yard, trying to get rid of this big belly. Well, what do you know? We were just talking about her. 3062, that was my old Volvo. There she is right there. Spent about three years in that truck too. This was home for a long time. It's even got my flags on the door there still. The US and Canada. I still got that bug deflector I put on there. I said I mentioned it before already. I'll mention it again for those of you who missed it. I'm used to hearing my own voice already. It was really weird for the longest time at first hearing my own voice. Got used to that. But what's new in the last while is I could hear my breathing. And I noticed that if I jumped out of the truck, walked to the end of the vehicle, was 75 feet, jump into the trailer, sweep out the trailer, and jump back down, walk 75 feet back up to the cab, I could hear myself huffing and puffing in the video, just like I am right now, right? Just like, and I've only walked a little over a kilometer now, under a mile, just walking. I don't wanna, I shouldn't be huffing and puffing from that. Not like I'm out of breath, but I just want to be better. That's all. I want to be better, healthier. So Britta already makes sure that I eat, that I eat really well at home. She makes really healthy food, but that's not enough. Got to make sure that my legs keep moving. Well, we all saw it coming, right? Slow day, nothing to do. They're sending me home. I got a bit of an early day today. I'm gonna to take advantage of it because I'm pretty sure the rest of the week is gonna be long days. Or at least all week, last week was long days and the week before, so when I get a short day, I'll take it. 
I, I was sort of expecting it to be busier today, honestly, uh, because it's uh, a short week. Like I was explaining to you in the morning, right? I thought it was going to be way busier. What do I know? <laughs> I just drive the truck. You have eight hours and 25 minutes of remaining drive time. I won't need that. I will save it for tomorrow. How about that? Steph. The stuff. The stuff. My toilet trays. Or our toilet trays. <laughs> so we just got home and uh, we have an appointment in about an hour. Oh, well, 45 minutes now. With the uh, air conditioning guy. He's coming down here to measure out our house and see how big of an air conditioner we're going to need. Because we don't have one in this house. And when we moved in here in September, it was so hot. And neither of us can sleep when it's that hot. So he's gonna come save the day and uh, we should have a new AC in as soon as they have time to install it. We just have to figure out how big of one we need first. I, mean, I say the bigger the better, but apparently he's gotta measure the square footage of the house, check the attic, check the windows, check everything and uh, uh, give his recommendation. So we should have air conditioning in here soon. Right Chevy? You need it too, you got this big coat, big coat of fur. And we've lost our sunlight and our energy. <laughs> so Brit's over here watching some TV, I'm pretty sure. What you watching? Anyway, it made a lot of people say that I'm almost positive now. Mm. Wasn't okay. It might have been Oxnock. That guy's eyebrows. I don't know. I, don't I cannot know. watch a show with him in it without mentioning them. Like that's impressive. Every night he says something. It's Eugene Levy's trademark. It's his eyebrows. They look fake. They aren't. They're impressive. Wow. Are you thinking about becoming a drug dealer? <laughs> it's the newest show she's gotten into. Well, I'm back here busy uh, making videos for y'all. Anyways, yeah, we had the uh, air conditioning guy come here from uh, uh, Brown's Plumbing and Heating. And they're going to install a nice AC for us in about two weeks. I'm really excited. We ordered uh, a Lennox variable uh, or a variable Lennox. Uh, was it an 18 something, something, something? I got the paperwork right here. Uh, bear with me a second here. It is a, he wrote it down as a Lennox Elite 18 XCV. Uh, variable so it doesn't always go at full power it only uses the amount of power that's needed to cool the house down and it should be more than enough and it'll be connected to the entire house so it'll be our first central air conditioning ever my first ever on my own since I've owned my own houses I didn't have it in the mobile home I had a it was sort of like a window air conditioner that was a weird air conditioner I was set up it was sort of like a window air conditioner it came through the floor but it wasn't central air. Then I moved to uh, the that black house with the cement floors, stain, uh, painted cement floors. That's where I met Britt. Uh, we got married. No, we got engaged in there, in that house. And that didn't have any air conditioning. Then we moved to the other big ranch style farmhouse, didn't have air conditioning. We moved into this house, didn't have air conditioning. This is really weird because most houses here have air conditioning, I think. Every house I've ever lived in before I owned my own houses had air conditioning. But none that I've owned so far. So this will be the first home that I've ever owned or co-owned with Brit with central air. I'm actually really looking forward to it. And so is this guy. Big fluffy guy. He can be nice and comfortable now, even with this big coat of fur, eh? Even on the hottest of hot summer days. Yeah. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> if you've lasted this long in the vlog. Give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know that you made it right till the end. Because we'll only, we'll know if you leave a comment saying I made it to the end, we'll know all the people who actually watched the whole video. Okay, and we'll have outed all the people who ducked out early and who didn't watch the whole thing, okay? So if you watched right to the end, leave a comment that you made it to the end. Everyone else won't know what all the comments are all about. But we'll see what happens. Alright, let's see how many people make it here. Talk to you later.